All right, in this video, we are going to go over how to edit Squarespace 7.1 site styles. If you are on a Squarespace 7.0, um, I would highly suggest this video that I created back in July of 2019, and that one will go over how to do the same kind of changes, but in Squarespace 7.0, I'll, I'll go ahead and link that as well. So to start off, I like creating a mood board page. So click on pages and then not linked and then create a blank page. Doesn't have to look pretty. It's just gonna be a really simple page that has the layout of text. So if you click on it, I would just go ahead and go plus, create text, and you're just gonna write heading one, heading two. The great thing about Squarespace 7.1 is they allow you to have so many different headings and subheadings. In Squarespace 7.0, you really were only given the heading, the subheading, and the paragraph, and you had to work with those three fonts and that was it. So what you do is you just go ahead and write heading one, highlight it, and then change it to, of course, be heading one. And go all the way down the list four times for the headings and then four times for the paragraphs. If you want, you can add a link, which I just, I don't even know, I think I used paragraph two, but I highlighted it and I linked something. Just link whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then create three buttons. So this will allow me to see all the different styles that I can create on my website. When you're done, you can save that. And now it's time to manipulate all of the things. So go back, go into design, site styles, fonts. This is where you set the headings, right here where it says headings. And all of these four headings will be the same. I know I have one that looks different and I will explain later how to do that with custom code. So you can choose that. They have tons of different fonts to go through. And this is where you change the size of each of the headings. Paragraphs is done right here. The same way you can choose the family, the weight, which just means the thickness, uh, the line height, and then of course the size. Buttons, again, I mentioned that, so that is where you would edit it right here. So if you wanna get more specific about colors and things like that, you go back and click on colors. This is, I highly suggest just setting up your uh, color palette in here and it'll go automatically populate, but you can still manipulate things. So when you've created a website page, you have these different sections. So this section is using the lightest one. This section is using the dark two. So if I wanted to edit this the heading in this section, I would go to lightest one and you can sometimes just click on it and it'll pull, it might pull it up. If it doesn't, click show all and you can see right here, this is where you would change the headings, the paragraph fonts to be whatever color you want and they'll have your palette, but you can always click custom and just really go at it. And then if you want to do it in a different section, you go ahead and just look at what you're using there and you can change that as well. So that's really going to allow you to change it to whatever color you want. Now, make sure you click done and save everything. What if you wanna have a specific font that Squarespace does not have? Go to custom CSS and I will post this uh, code in the blog so you can just copy and paste it. You are wanting to do a font face for a new font family. So you will need to get the font families OTF or TTF, and that's like the font file. And you click Manage Custom Files, add the images or fonts, and you add that font. So mine is a, called newyork.otf. Then you'll just paste the code in, this code right here, at font face bracket font dash family, and you can name the font whatever you want. I just make it one word. It's the same name that they already created. And then the source has the URL, and this is where you're going to paste that URL that will automatically come by you having the file. So if you just click the file, it'll put that code or that URL right in there. Then it's time to tell Squarespace, okay, I want my heading two to be that specific font or my heading three. So I've chosen my heading three. And so you just do heading three in the brackets, font family, and once you make sure that the name of the font is the exact same as the name that you established up here, and it should automatically change it. So again, that code will be uh, on the Rebecca Reed Creative blog. 
let's look at changing up the header. So you can do this from really any page. If you want to go to the home page, you can go ahead and do that. And then edit, edit site header. And global settings just is like all over the board. What do you want to change? So site title, if you have a logo, I 100% say that you should add it right there as well as on mobile. If you don't, that's okay. Just use your site title and it'll do the font that you've chosen for that. Elements button means that you would have a button right here. If you don't want that, you can click that off. Social links, if you have those, I would click that as well. And then if you have a shop, you can do cart. Colors, so you can change. Again, remember we set up like the dark two already and the lightest one. So you can change these colors uh, for whatever you want the header to be. If you want the photo to go all the way up, I know that's really popular right now, and not having kind of this banner look, click transparent, and that will allow for the photo to go all the way up. Next up is uh, if you want to do fixed position, you can definitely do that. You can click it. Um, I prefer not to do that, but that you can play around with things as much as you want. So we have a computer and we have a little mobile. The computer obviously means desktop. So if you want to change like how the where the logo is, you would click header layout. You can have the logo to the left, right, whatever. Play around with it. Mobile right here. Um, you can change the menu icon and things like that. So this is just kind of an overview of those things. If you guys want to go even deeper into Squarespace 7.1 and how to create a site from start to finish and feel really confident in your site, I have a course, Squarespace with Confidence. I would love to have you join us. I will link that below uh, and you can take a look. Let me know if you have any other questions. I love helping you guys out with Squarespace and show it website tips.